Hey, what's up, Black Bolt Joe here. Today we're going to discuss the 2021 Netflix slash Nickelodeon original project, Shark Dog's Fantastic Halloween. So Shark Dog is a TV series co-produced by Netflix and Nickelodeon on Netflix. Animated show aimed for the five-year-olds popped up in my list of things that I might like and said, you know what? It's Halloween. I need something simple. I need a cartoon for kids because the other, the, the, B and C movies we did a recent marathon on have been mind numbing and frustrating with inconsistencies. I just need a very simple, big budgeted produced project. And here we go. It's a 20 something minute long short. It's the Halloween special for this three seasons TV series, which I've never heard of until recently. So Shark Dog is half shark part and half dog. He is an owner and the owner has friends and they all go to school and blah 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 so they're telling shark dog the story because this is going to be shark dog's first halloween they're telling him the story of how the town got its name and how they how there was an evil fog with a monster on halloween and all these things right so they're telling his story and you know the the kraken was a robot all along and who's controlling the robot and things right adorable but something that really stood out which is so trivial to the actual plot is that when they're first starting this story of, oh, this happened so many Halloweens ago and it was Halloween night and blah, blah, blah. They show a block that's blocked off that has, you know, barriers on one side and the other side, referencing that it's a block for kids to then party on, if you will, uh, to go safely without cars and stuff. My block, the one that I live on, does a Halloween block party, not specifically on Halloween. We do it end of September, beginning of October, depending on the year. And we corner off, obviously, hence the block party. Those that participate decorate the houses. We have like crafts for kids and stuff. We put out bowls of candy. I have, uh, I made um, giant, like four foot by four foot stencils, a uh, spider, a bat, a pumpkin, and a uh, Jack Skellington's like face. So then I get spray chalk and I tag the street with the chalk. Uh, to, you know, incorporate the spookiness, right? And it's just a grand old time. You get a DJ, you get your cotton candy machine, etc. right? It's not many people, obviously, most people do block parties in the summer, but we do block parties in the fall and we do a Halloween themed block party. It's fun. It's different. So when I saw the barriers in this project, I'm like, oh, it's a Halloween block party. Not specific block party itself, but they blocked the block. They blocked the block. There we go. And it's uh it's a block party so it's it's fun you know now that i'm talking about this out loud that's obviously where the word comes from so it's a block party because your street is blocked off for you to party it's a block party mind blown mind blown it's amazing how 34 years into this life and i'm putting the putting the words together you learn something new every day Without learning, there'd be no progress. Without growth, there'd be no future. Um, shark dogs, fantastic Halloween, fun, entertaining, fluff. I have no problems with it. On to the next review. Jamahalo.